Inca, 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 Inca. I'm the spiritual type, and I'm a boss too. I'm a strong black woman. I can teach you femininity, the life of luxury. Come chill with me, and let me show you. Peace family, welcome back, welcome back. If we are meeting for the first time, I am Oshun Yinka, your favorite womb goddess. And today I wanted to show you guys the day in the life of me free bleeding on my cycle. If you're not familiar about what free bleeding is, free bleeding is when you don't use anything to catch your menstrual flow when you're on your period. So that's no pads, no period underwear, no tampons, no anything, nothing at all. And I practice free bleeding on my cycles 95% of the time. The only time I use anything is when I have to go out, run errands or anything like that. But on the first day of my cycle, I make sure that I don't do anything at all so that I can at least honor 24 hours of me doing absolutely nothing on my period. So as you can see, I start my day off with some herbal tea. On um, the first day, of course, I start with Don Quay, but throughout my cycle is Don Quay, raspberry leaf, nettle, um, motherwort, all the good reproductive herbs. As my tea is cooling down, that's when I'm usually doing my wash up and everything. And then I go and put my Apple Watch on so that I can make sure that I'm still active every day. No excuses, even on your cycle. Close those rings, y'all. <laughs> So for everyone who thinks I'm just bleeding all over the house and all over the furniture, I put a towel down and this is not necessarily to catch the blood, but more so because my bottom is going to be out naked and I just don't want to bare ass all over my, my couch. So yeah, this is where I'm going to sit all day. My laundry day is typically on Fridays, but my period came on on a Thursday because I'm sync with the full moon. So <laughs> we're going to do laundry today as well. Make sure that I have fresh nice smelling linen and I'm not doing this because I made a mess on my sheets or anything but simply because your senses are very heightened at this time you're very sensitive to energy at this time and when you sleep you're vulnerable this is the time where you get the most downloads this is the time where spirit is con contacting you as much as possible and when you have a clean room it's very easy for the divine to show up and to give you divine messages when you're trying to sleep in a room with you know, clothes all over your bed, you haven't vacuumed in weeks, like everything is just cluttered. It's very easy for you to just wake up groggy, wake up fatigued, having an attitude for the rest of your period. So I just always make sure that my room, if nothing else, is very spotless to start my period off. And if y'all know anything about me, I absolutely hate doing laundry. Like that's like right under washing dishes. Like <laughs> I really hate it, but I'm not going to leave clothes in my hamper. I'm not going to just leave it on my bed when I just start my cycle. It has to be a clean room. Everything has to be put away. And I'm even folding the fitted sheets to the best of my ability, of course. <laughs> Next is actually making up the bed. So I don't make the rules, but I forgot where I read that most millionaires start their day off by making up the bed. I was raised to make your bed before you get dressed for the day and I absolutely hated it because I didn't understand it and so when I went to college I stopped doing it and I can see the effects of my productivity it wasn't until my sister last year <laughs> came and stayed with me and was like girl you never make your bed like grandma would curse you out if she came over here and saw your bed not made but when I started back doing it, I definitely saw an increase in my productivity because I wasn't tempted to get back in the bed or to just stay in the bed all day. Oops. <laughs> so I was so glad that I caught this on camera. So I felt my uterus contracting when I was putting the sheets on the bed. And when I stood up, I could feel the blood releasing. So I went to the bathroom, I peed, and I wiped up like anybody else would when they go to the bathroom. And this is what prevents me from having blood running down my legs you guys really simple really easy it's just all about knowing your body and knowing when it's going to react so i usually do like a four mile jog but today i only did two miles because i was kind of hungry and i didn't want to overwork myself it's fall season so you already know i made me some soup 
because what else do you make during the fall season when you're on your period? I don't know about y'all, but I haven't had butternut squash in years, so I decided to make it today, even though I was going to save it for Sunday dinner, but my psycho beat me to it, so I'm making it today. So here's a period hack that you might not have known about. Eating foods for your root and sacral chakra. When I learned this tip a couple years ago, it changed the game for me. See, God is so amazing that she put the medicine in the food. So before you ask, well, what foods are good for your root chakra? What foods are good for your sacral chakra? All you have to do is match the colors. It's so weird, but it's so simple, y'all. Now, I'm not talking about going and getting, you know, orange Cheeto puffs, but orange and red fruits and vegetables are essential when you're eating on your period. Butternut squash is rich in magnesium, vitamin C, and fiber, so it helps you from being bloated on your cycle, and it helps you have a healthy digestive system on your cycle as well. I know y'all don't want to be plant-based. I know y'all want to just give into your Reese cup and your Starbucks cravings on your period. But I'm here to tell you that when we are talking about healing our wounds, how you honor your period is the very start. So even though if you're not completely plant-based, it's not going to hurt you for the first day of your cycle to honor your body by giving it living food. And then I just gave you an extra tip to not only just eat living food, but living food that's going to specifically cater to your root and sacral chakra which is the chakra that's being active the most in this time it's so disheartening to see generations of girls normalizing discomfort on their periods and hating their bodies because they have wounds that menstruate y'all your body is a work of art you should be treating it like royalty feeding it the best foods the best nourishment because it deserves it now I threw my coconut milk in here and stirred everything all up with a blender. Y'all, it just hit different when you make food with love, when you make food with intention. It just hit different. I don't know about y'all, but it just do something for me. When y'all talk about luxury, this is real luxury. Now, of course, I had to do my little fat girl one on the side to make me a little grilled cheese, but everything in this recipe is 100% plant-based. So get into it. Now this is about midway through the day. So as I transition from the kitchen to more of my workspace energy, I go ahead and set the tone with some aromatherapy. Got some good old Luther playing in the background. And right before I serve anyone with my consultations or in the hormone challenge, I make sure I love on myself. So a bunch of singing, a bunch of dancing, a bunch of moving my body to lift up my energy even more. And to make sure that I'm in a great space to show love to my clients, to go live for you guys, and all that good stuff, because that's what we do. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried free bleeding or if you intend to, and I will see you in the next video. I'm the spiritual type And I'm a boss too I'm a strong black woman I can teach you Femininity The life of luxury Come chill with me And let me show you Yinka